Yeah, here we go. Once again, you know what it is. Deep Space Nine, Crossroads of Time. I love it. It rhymes. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll just put, if you remember, it's Kuvmo. K U V M O H. <laughs> remember, folks, to tip your uh, hollow singers, your Vic, your Vic Fontaines. Cha. Yes. Also, I just realized Star Trek doesn't use the concept of money. Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, let's travel through the wormhole, as it were, <laughs> and uh, let's uh, let's go. Let's get it twisted, Mon frères. <gasps> Kira. <gasps> oh yes, right. We've teleported. Good work, gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> see you later, Odo. <laughs> Subspace frequencies should be clear. Transmit our report now. I'm transmitting to both Bajor and Starfleet Command. Sensors detect three more Cardassian warships approaching. <laughs> That's no good. Station log. Store date 46873.6. Go. Oh my god! <laughs> Golgurke's ship is crippled. Yeah, the ship's computer have been hopelessly paralyzed and its weapons disarmed. No, I think it's, I think it's just all gone. I, it's all gone. They like evaporated the entire ship. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Got nothing on me. Now for the computer. That's okay. Not the computer. That's not- Oh! Hey! Gold Ducat, I take it you have an explanation for all of this. I assure you that Golgurge was acting on his own initiative until your transmission. We had no idea what he was planning. You expect me to believe- Oh, you expect me to believe that? What you believe is not important, as is... What you cannot prove. <laughs> Ducat! <laughs> We'll be watching you. Toodles! <laughs> Wait, why did it give me control of that little bit right there where I didn't have any tools or could do anything? Ah. Uh. Station log, star date 46874.0. With the departure of the Cardassians, I find myself wishing for some time to relax. But I know better than to expect peace and quiet. After all, this is Deep Space Nine. Oh my god! Designed by Marie. Oh my! That's it. That's the game. I, I thought I'd have some gameplay today. I didn't realize I'd be returning. Golgurge? Excuse me. Wow. Let's dap these people up before we go. You know, check their names out. There's Eastvan, Ratkai. Good man there. Akos Roth. Another good one. Music and sound effects by Attila Dobos, Attila Hager, Gabor Kis, Andras Magyari, and Steve Zuckerman. You know the ones. You know those. <laughs> Come on. Look at them all. There's Bug Busters. Oh, that's not a name. That's the Bug Busters. Embarrassing. There's Dick Salas. Come on. Kathy Sison. Woo! And Susan Porter. And Michael and Denise Okura. Ooh, and Biola University and Chapman University apparently had a hand in helping. That's interesting. I think I'd actually like to know more about that. It's the Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine. Da -da -da -da. Um, I'm not going to push anything. I'm going to just let it go because, you know... Sometimes when you when you push a button at the end of a game, it it, it cuts off the uh, the cutscene. Maybe there's a cutscene here. This is my first let's oh, goodbye. <laughs> first let's play complete. Ooh. Oh, that's it. All right. Wow. <sighs> I am saying 
a deep sigh, a breath of relief. Let's check this out. Uh, actually, hold on. You know what? Cisco never got to speak in front of the opening credits, so let's let's do it. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Deep Space Nine and the U little USS Defiant. And yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Also, I hold on. Now, if you can guess this word before I type it in, you win. Hmm. Oh, what letter? What word has three e's? And a s and a ch. Why, it's cheese! Ah, uh, shoot, would you look at that? Well, I guess I'll just press R shoulder, R shoulder, A, B, A, B, L shoulder, L shoulder, start. And see what happens. But who's it, what's it? What was that noise? Why, I bet it was nothing. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Stage, level, stage, level! Unlimited lives! You can choose where you want to go, 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 So let's see, where do we want to go? <laughs> the war, the the universe is our big silly oyster. Pew, pew. I say we go to the wormhole. Now let's give this a proper. Hold on, let me do this back. <clears throat> Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the USS Defiant, a detachment of the Star Station Deep Space Nine. Our goal is to just kind of be out here in case anyone shows up, you know, Gamma Quadrant to Delta Quadrant, we're the connection that holds them together and we've got Kira and we've got Odo on deck and <laughs> you know my Boba Sheer <laughs> and um, you know we have a lot of things going on here just got an email we've got a lot of stuff and a lot of things going on at Deep Space Nine why, you've got your pick of the litter when it comes to Cardassians, d -d -d Klingon, Ferengi, Bajoran food, uh, clothing, and all manner of game at here. Here at Deep Space Nine. Why? Uh, we've even got uh, Hollow Sweets and, um,. May you ever look towards the stars and journey forth with pickaxe and hand <laughs> to, 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 to discovery. Ah, little Star Wars thing. Let's give this, hold on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. All right, what are we doing? The wormhole. Right. <laughs> yes. Here we go, quickly. We need to take the wormhole out of this series. It's over. We're done with this game. We've completed it. We've got to go. We've got to go. Don't you understand? This is life or death. Now, the thing about that ah, wormholes is that, you know, it's a bit of a tight fit. <laughs> and, um, um, and, uh, you know, this would almost suggest that the wormhole has, like, physical barriers as I plunge and bounce into these things. Maybe not physical, actually. No, why would I assume that? Ah, because the hu puny human brain. Yours. You thought that. I was playing 3D chess with the three third eye open. This... <laughs> this level. Does this just... Does this level do this just to, like, get you down to that little bit of HP and just make you feel like that. Like it's tense. It almost feels like that. Yeah! <laughs> now it's time for some Astro Smashing! And I think if I'm not mistaken, we're coming up on something, uh, very important. Oh, there goes a little Easter egg there. <laughs> that was, that was Blasto. 
classic uh, PS1 character. Voiced by Phil Hartman. All right. Um, halt or surrender, or I will open fire, and you better surrender. Oh, boy. You did not just do that. Okay. Cheer up. Come on. I'm telling you, this is it's, this is leading to something. You might be watching this being like, why is he playing this um, uh, again? But Kira's got a little surprise in mind for us. Don't you worry. But what you have to do is you have to get to a certain point after chasing these Cardassians, because you are a Bajoran right now. Um, you might think I'm hitting some of these rocks on purpose. That's because I am. So then we get there. Hmm. Okay. So now you have to die, and here's the thing: you have to say Kira Norris three times. Kira Norris. Kira Norris. <laughs>